So we're finally back in Melbourne, which means I can catch up with a few people I've been meaning to catch up with for a while. Hey boys. One of them being Chris Peters from Quadlock. Everybody knows Quadlock. They sent me some kit oh, over a year ago now when I was first uh, doing a few live streams with Zwift. And now Zwift iOS is out. I think their sales are going to increase. How good is this bike path? Not as good as Perth, but it'll do. I'll tell you what though, riding around Melbourne, it's a breath of fresh air. I thought I'd never ever say that, but Sydney has changed my perspective. Okay, let's get over to Quadlock. So it is true, Quadlock started with a, uh, a beer bottle opener. The yeah. company behind, uh, oh, behind Quadlock. So yeah, the first product was the opener, uh, which was a iPhone case with a slide-out bottle opener. Oh, brilliant. It was the first one we kick-started back in 2011. <laughs> yeah, the cap it. Um, yeah, and we learned a lot about crowdfunding, logistics, shipping, manufacturing offshore. Uh, unfortunately, it did get copied, um, and they flooded the market with uh, cheap, inferior copies of it. Uh, which we've learned a lot more now that quad lock so we've done the thing with patent protection, trademarks, all those kind of jazz. So. Okay, this is a personal opinion one. iPhone or Android, what are you? Uh, iPhone. Your iPhone? Yep. Oh, through the through. Android people won't like that. Yep. Any inside details you can share on what's coming? So there's no, well there's no great dedicated GPS systems for motorbikes. Right. Uh, and everyone uses their phone using you know, Apple Maps or Google Maps. Uh, so yeah, it's just one that we didn't see, but it's, well, a lot of our customers are motorbike users already and they're using our existing bike mounts on their bikes. Our main thing is for navigation. So the yeah, navigation on an iPhone or an Android product is far superior to your dedicated GPS devices. Yep. Uh, and it's a lot smaller, discrete device to put on your bike. So yeah, big opportunity there in motorbikes. Alrighty, thanks for a quick look at the, uh, a bit of background here with Quadlock and uh, good Christmas present idea? Quadlock, bike kit, number one seller. Done deal. All right, we'll link everyone below to that. Cheers. Thanks, mate. Ta. Interesting to hear that motorcyclists are using Quadlock to put their phones on their uh, handlebars for better GPS navigation. Apologies, that wasn't really a full depth interview and it really wasn't set up for audio and things like that. I just pulled the camera out and asked Chris a few interesting questions. So onto the Quadlock, Wee. I've been using it on my iPhone 6 for a long time. I've butchered the case to fit some, um, some optics on the side there. But the reason why I like it off the bike and not using, you know, not when it's mounted anywhere, is a little grip on the back sort of acts as a bit of a I guess a gripper, I guess you could call it that. Um, and it's pretty good protection anyway. So when I got my iPhone 7 yesterday, unboxing video here. We've all seen those. I didn't want to set it up until I had the kit for the iPhone 7. So I've got one of those. Let's unbox one of those now. Okay, I've covered this in the blog about a year ago for the iPhone 6. Now, here's a trick with the box that I love. Now I will butcher the box, but I'll show you why in a sec. So inside the box here are some little magnets for the case to open and shut, for the sort of display case. It looks really nice. They can be used as cadence sensor magnets or SRM or quark magnets. Really handy to have, so don't throw those away. There's a bonus. So what comes in the box itself is the case itself. Let's see how easy that is to put on. Done. That's that. Comes with the rain jacket. Now this is handy if you're outdoors, if you do use your phone outdoors in your quad lock, or if you're indoors sweating everywhere. There's actually special plastic over the thumbprint because the iPhone 7 comes with, it's not a button as such. There's actually a little special plastic on that circle which reads your thumbprint through there. It's quite thin, but it does the job. Under here are all the mounts. So your standard bike mount, and if you want to secure it totally, you can put on some uh, cable ties on your stem. What I use though, is just the, um, the O-rings here. It's as simple as that. And the iPhone 7, it just locks straight in like that. And it's rock solid. So pretty simple, solves a really big problem that I have and I've continued to use it 24 seven with the case and always when I'm indoors on the bike. I'll link below to my blog review of the iPhone 6 case. It's exactly the same as this, but it's the model before. If you're after one, I've got a discount code, send me a message or look in the comments below. But that's it, we'll keep it short and sharp. Um, Australian company, taking on the world, it's good to see. 
Let me know below if you're a Quadlock user, if you're looking at a solution like this, or you use something alternative. I'm keen to see what else is out there in the market. Okay, like, comment, subscribe, whatever. Have fun, <laughs> see you later.